I want to talk about the door problem. Let me try and if I can see to go to the next page. Is there like an end page, next page? Otherwise I'm gonna scroll. Okay. Um, the door problem is an article from Liz England and it's about game design. I want to talk a bit about game design briefly. So, um, I come from the Source Engine branch of um, games, which means that if you want to make a game in Source Engine, you get the uh, entity tool and you look for a door and then you place it down and bada bing bada boom you have a functioning door in the video game. Congratulations. <laughs> so like actual game dev, if you don't use an engine that ha gives you a lot of tools already, is a bit harder. Um, so try and do it yourself. Uh, where, where, did I, where did I start? I started with, I wanted something functioning that appears and disappears. So I wrote some code for something to disappear and make open the way. So I had a doorway and it opened after a certain time. It's kind of a door, okay. But like, okay, if I want to make a game, I want more than that. So next up, I wanted interaction. And then you can already ask you plenty of questions. How do you want to interact with the door? Do you want to like click on it? Do you want to have like a trigger that you walk into that opens the door or some other condition? And basically there's an infinite number of questions that you can ask yourself about how you want to interact with these doors. Can they be locked? Can they be unlocked? How do you unlock them and etc. Uh, next up is how, how, do, how do I want this door to move? Do I want it to slide open or rotate open or do some other fancy thing? Um, next up, uh, like, okay, I want the door to look pretty so there's a plenty of art disciplines simply broken down into, for example, creating a 3D model texturing the model, which is the whole process in itself, and uh, animating it if you want the door handle to wiggle. Um, there's even more disciplines. You can make sounds for the door if you wanted to have funny, have funny sounds. Let me see if I can. These are, these are sounds I used in my game. Ah, OK, I don't have sound preview. Let's go back <laughs> to a different tab. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's not important. How do I go tab, tab? Oh, OK, open in the same. Uh, Technology. So, uh, you want the door to have a fancy sound, maybe even two or three different sounds, like once it, when it opens, when it moves, when it finishes moving, and there's a lot of work that you can put into just the sound. And then if you don't want to get sued, maybe you want to look at the licenses, credit the things. Um, and those are only like scratching the surface of the more obvious stuff. There is a lot of disciplines. Like, you know the film credits at the end? Games are similarly. There's a discipline for, like, placing lights down in a scene, and it's a, it's a thing that you can get really good at and get a position where you do only light placements in scenes, for example, or all sorts of different stuff. And in a AAA game, so, like, big game studios, you have one person doing these little things. But if you're an indie game developer... Uh, who works alone most of the time, then you kind of have to wear all of these hats and you have to learn every little thing, which means you're probably not going to get very, very amazingly good at an individual thing. Maybe if you have a favorite, you can put a lot of work into just 3D modeling or whatever. So I hope that gave you an idea of the door problem, which just is an introduction to non-game developers, how messy games are and how many questions and you can ask yourself an answer in all different ways. I didn't even begin talking about multiplayer. That makes everything a billion times more complex. So, uh, like 10 seconds of self-advertisement. I'm T. I make games sometimes. Um, you can find me on tmakes.games. Uh, I just made a game which is basically about opening doors. Uh, <laughs> Like various different ways of opening doors. If you want to, I'm trying to release it tomorrow if Valve lets me. Let's all pray to the Valve gods that they approve my game build. Um, yeah. So you can also find me on Chaos, although I'm mostly on like Mastodon, although I mostly use it to talk about my wonderful girlfriend. Uh, but yeah, I would appreciate it if you would uh, check out a game or The Door Problem, the article from Liz England, if you want to get a better idea of what she meant with that. <laughs> I hope I portrayed it fine. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Um, do, does your game have also have mimic doors that eat you if you try to open them? Not yet. Not yet. All right. <laughs> ne next patch. <laughs> Thank you very much.